Hello and welcome to another episode of Sailing Indiana. We've spent the night moored up in the boatyard because we are getting our mast step today. It's a little bit wet, a little bit rainy, so we're hoping it all goes to plan and everyone can yeah, still do everything, but um, we're excited, apprehensive. Excited. Uh, nervous, yeah. All those things. We're not sure if everything is going on in terms of like the, um, the boom and other bits and pieces, but the, the main task is get the mast on see how it fits. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome to Sailing Indiana. We are Lauren and Chris and we've recently bought our first boat. This is a story of how we hope to swap a life in the city for a life at sea. Please like and subscribe and welcome aboard. Our mast has been here in the boatyard since February. Our riggers, Rigget UK, have been replacing our standing rigging, running rigging, rebedding the spreaders, refurbishing our in-mast boating system and our boom, along with a number of other repairs on the mast. There's been a huge backlog at the boatyard to use the crane, and we were initially given a date of October to be able to step the mast. Luckily, Rigget UK were able to organise it for today agreeing to work on a slightly cold and rainy Saturday. Thanks guys. Parts of the process were mm, less graceful than others. But there's not many ways you can get a 50 foot mast over a 20 foot wall. So, the guys managed to get the mast over the wall and lined up, ready to begin the stepping process. We watched on in anticipation, this being the second time this year we'd seen our mast dangling from a crane over Indiana. Don't fall. Yeah. 
Well, can we jib out towards the centre of the uh, boat, please? Yeah. Nice and slowly, because we've got to take the four stay forward. Stepping on. Anyhow, can you uh, jib out, please? The next time you do this on your own, Chris. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Laura will be holding it. Oh, yeah. The <laughs> mask. So, with only one brief heart-stopping moment, the mast was stepped. The guys had to tension all of the rigging, and Don would have to go up the mast to attach our wind instrument and release the sling. There were two aft lower shrouds missing when we bought the boat. This meant that the riggers didn't have anything to measure the new ones against. Nevertheless, after some on-site angle grinding and swaging, the job was done. My next trick. <laughs> so 
afraid. Today is a shaky night. Yeah. It's windy. <laughs> a couple of times I was on the top when it was very windy. Oh, <laughs> and it's just. Yeah, yeah, that's nerve wracking. Both the smoking uh, uh, on the deck. Yeah. He's very he's, yeah. yeah, and he's just dropping here, yeah. And I was, the work was done for the day, yeah. and the riggers were just finishing up. Yeah. We still need a boom, and our sails on, but let's take one step at a time. <laughs> at the end of the day, we had to take Indiana back to her home berth. We didn't record much of this, as the wind had picked up and we both needed to keep our hands free. We do want to say a big thank you to one of our pontoon neighbours, Jeff who came on board with us and offered great advice and assistance. Welcome to another episode of Sailing Indiana. We have spent a night on the boat and uh, moored up next to the. <laughs> I've got mm. a beard here. Mm. Right, 